In this lab, we're going to measure the heat absorbed by reactions, specifically the reactions of dissolving salts in water. Since these reactions are carried out at constant pressure, and we're dealing with heats, this is going to tell us about the enthalpy change associated with the reaction. Or another way to think about the enthalpy change is the enthalpy difference between the reactants and the products. In this case, the reactants will be the salts and the pure water, and the product will be the solution of the salt in water. In all these cases, we're going to try to form a approximately one molar solution of the salt and measure the temperature change in the water when the salt dissolves in it. So we're going to do this by taking one-tenth of a liter of water, or 100 milliliters, and one-tenth of a mole of the salt, and that will depend on, of course, the molar mass of each salt. If we know exactly how much water we have and how much salt we add, if we measure the temperature of the water before adding the salt, and then the temperature of the water after the salt has been dissolved, then we can calculate how much heat has gone into changing the temperature of the water. This is our experimental apparatus. The calorimeter is simply made out of two styrofoam cups, and then we have a piece of styrofoam that's been cut to fit the top to provide additional insulation. The slab of styrofoam that's in a disc has a hole in the top so that when it's covered, when the calorimeter is covered, you can have a thermometer inside it. We're going to measure the temperature of the water before the salt is dissolved, and then several times after the salt is dissolved, because we want to make sure that we have the maximum change in temperature, either the maximum increase or the maximum decrease, depending on whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. Our first solute is going to be potassium chloride. Okay, so 7.48 grams of potassium chloride. Next, to get the water, so I'm going to tear it. I'll start out by just adding water to the graduated cylinder, measuring up at 100 milliliters. But to be doubly sure that I know exactly how much water I have, I'm going to weigh it on the balance. So it's not quite 100. This says it's 99.23, but I will record that. So the next thing to do is measure the temperature. Let that equilibrate, give that some time. So I'm going to call that 21.5 Celsius. Add the salt. And stir the thermometer, or even better yet, I can slightly swirl. And it looks like the temperature is dropping. So 
the temperature is now at about 17 and a half Celsius. Still 17 and a half. So I'm going to write that down. So that I don't forget, see if it changes any more. Again, I'm still going to call that 17 and a half. Now just to double check before I, yep, it looks extremely dissolved. There does not appear to be any undissolved solid in this.